Welcome to another Dreadfully painting video. In this one, I'm going to look at the uh, dwarf ship, Grimnar's Thunder. This is the seventh ship, I believe, we're at now. We have three left to go before we're all done the whole kit. And uh, yeah, let's walk our way through this one. It looks pretty straightforward. You have ba three basic colors, um, plus the water, and then the little uh, uh, airship. Okay, so um, the water areas are all done the same way as all the other stuff, so that's... Uh, Oops, sorry. Uh, they're done with the uh, the same mix here. We have the regal blue base, and then dry brush with enchanted blue and ice blue. Then a badab black and thraki green mix uh, watered down is given over that, and then a bit of skull white on the wave crests. For the uh, airship, we have a uh, denim stone base, devil and mud wash, denim stone again, and then a little bit of skull white. For all of the gold areas, we base coated with tin bits. Um, at the same time, I also base coated all the metal areas with bolt gun, uh, and then a full-on badass black wash for everything. Uh, and then after that, a uh, actually sorry, I did the Nardoc green at the same time as well, and it got the same badass black. And then I just draw high brush highlighted some of it was dry brushing, so shining gold on all the gold areas, chainmail, and then mithril on the silver snot green and goblin green on the green bits so uh, pretty straightforward and uh, here we go so I started out with a uh, dark brown spray base which I immediately covered completely with silver so a silver base coat would probably have been good and uh, here I am dry brushing up the, uh, the the base of the model okay and so there's the nylock green going on there so nothing too special there trying to stay within the lines basically but I know that the gold is going to go uh, there so picking the order that I do things here um, also should note that I, I didn't assemble this first uh, that's because the detail on the middle um, and uh, this is that uh, airship there and I did this one the base anyways at the same time as the um, uh, black kraken kraken sorry um, and uh, yeah Okay, so working on the tin bits for all the gold areas. I found this area, all these cannons were the most fiddly uh, sort of things, trying to get right in around there on the uh, on those horizontal surfaces. The surface you can't really see there was quite uh, tricky. Uh, that's the black wash and everything. And on here as well. I didn't really worry too much about extra detail here. That probably should have been a wood color, but um, you're not really going to see that. And uh, in hindsight, you wouldn't see this green here either. So I probably could have assembled it first. And uh, I'll show you why that might have been a good idea. Okay, so um, working on the the gold here, you can see the, the highlights kind of coming up on the silver. It's really hard to take good pictures of that, uh, at least before I get into my uh, finished pictures. That's the, uh, the white cr wave crests there, so it's a little bit of a dry brushing sort of a stippling actually. This is that denim stone there, so this is after I've done the silver and you can see I don't really get in there quite that good. I'm going to be doing a Devlin mud wash and so that'll help blend those edges. Okay, so now that's the shining gold on all the gold areas and again just trying to pick up all the raised bits and uh, mithril silver will go over top of everything. Okay, so I've assembled it now. Um, I do the white bits after that, but uh, I wanted to assemble it just to see if there's any areas I could paint over. There's a bad joint kind of there. That would have been better if I had um, glued it before I painted it and then filled it. Uh, but painting inside here might have been tricky, so it was a bit of a trade-off, and that's what won. Okay, so uh, here we are looking a bit closer and uh, getting the, the chain mail sort of along the edges there. And I'm going to try to highlight that a bit with mithril silver as well. Uh, there's the snot green kind of going around the edge there. Um, I actually really liked how that gnarlot green um, highlighted up with goblin green and then snot green. Sorry, snot green then goblin green. That turned out uh, better than I thought it would. And uh, the black there, I really, I actually quite liked that. It was pretty straightforward. Basically just tried to avoid the really dark areas with the snot green and then just did, uh, well you'll see the, the goblin green how I did that. Yeah, actually, so here you can see I kind of just did a line around things 
kind of the halo effect um, with a really fine line of goblin green. And like I mentioned, there's a bad joint there, um, but uh, I'm not probably going to fill that in. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's done. So this one was pretty straightforward. The only tricky bit was trying to get the the metals to look really nice, and I think I I think I was able to get it to look okay. Um, metals I find to be pretty unforgiving. Uh, if you try to do them this bright, if you're trying to do them something like an orky metal where it's lots of dark colors and rust and washes, then it's a bit more straightforward. But trying to do a nice shiny sort of kind of worn but also pretty new looking, not too tarnished, it uh, can be tricky. Um, the, the flying stem here, uh, unfortunately it's not quite the same as the clear ones that Games Workshop makes, so I just painted it the regal blue. And uh, just so it kind of blend in with the background when it's played in Dreadfleet. And uh, there's a bit of an overhead. So you can see the, the airship in there and some of the details. But uh, I probably could have gotten away with assembling that first. And a bit more close up. So you can kind of see how I tried to do the goblin green. Um, just tried to do kind of a, a line outline of things in, in there. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, check back on my channel for all of the other ones and stay tuned for the upcoming ones. i got three more left. See you next time.